Good morning and welcome to the live stream of Cointracking.co demonstration. So coin tracking is the only thing that I've found online that lets me coordinate all of my digital currency trading and track it all so that I can see my profit and losses and actually make tax reports that I can send into my bookkeeper and they can send into Revenue Canada. So it works out pretty fantastic. So what I'm going to do here is turn off the video so that you can see the screen here completely. And for this short little demo, I'm going to go through all of the different reporting that is available with this software. And so what I've done is I've opened up tabs of all of the different reports for my own trading here. And you can see that uh, over time, I started off this year with uh, six, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000 and through March, April, May and June made a fantastic profit took a bunch of that into the bank and now I've reinvested and things are really picking up. It's really amazing in the cryptocurrencies right now. So part of the reports here, we have all the way along the top here, we can see here that this is the trade list report where uh, new people joined the community of digital currency traders and I took their fees and demonstrate the actual trading that I'm doing. So it's not just technical analysis, it's actual real trading where I purchased in some things that I thought were going up at that time. And they've done fantastic, all of them already. So the next report along the top here is the trade prices. And you can see the entry and exit points and you can see the, um, the cost in Canadian dollar. And you can set this to your local currency. You can also see the spread here. And this is the first time I've been paying attention to this report. And I've got to figure out what this, this mean, a negative percentage in the spread. So the next one is the account balance. And in this report, it gives a nice quick chart where you can see the 30 day trend in US dollars of each of these different markets that I have an investment in. So you can see the trend in the last 24 hours, the last 30 days, and some pretty fantastic moves going on here. Really amazing days to be in cryptocurrencies. The next report is your balance by the day and you can see day by day how the balance is changing. So I was at 76,000, now I'm up over 100,000 and that's pretty crazy. Next report is the balance by exchange. So I've got a little bit of money on Bittrex, I've got a little bit in ANS which is actually now called NEO, they've changed the name, and a little bit of money in WBB. But I think this has actually changed. I thought the value of this was worth $2,000 actually. So transaction balance. And uh, there are some reports that I need to do to fix this because it should not have a negative balance. And that is my uh, laziness not going in and changing and fixing what reports need to be tuned to figure that out. So that'll be in my next presentation. So here we see your balance by month, April, May, June, July, August, where, so 39,000, 51, 100,000, 72, and sales volume, purchase value. You can see I did $300,000 worth of trading in August, which is uh, kind of mind blowing to me. Then the next report is the um, realized and unrealized gains. So an unrealized gain is a profit that you're holding in a, in a trade that you haven't sold out of yet, you haven't taken the profit. And the realized gains are trades that you've actually taken the profit on, and that's money in the bank trades. So you can see unrealized, I'm down a little bit on a current trade with folding coin, but made a killing on some of these markets uh, this year. The next report is the trade analysis, and you can really go into some fantastic detail here. So I'll just go to one of them, go to AMP coin, where you can see my average buy price was 6,700 Satoshi and my average sell price was 14,000. So really made some great profits on AMP and I'm back into that coin again. You can see my buys at 5,060 Satoshi here. A pretty good chunk of change put into this. A total of two Bitcoin in at this price. Somebody put up a wall and I just went, thank you. And prices have been going up on that, which is fantastic. So here's another average purchase price where you can go through and do a lot of detail about your trades and really get down to the specifics of how well you're doing with your purchases and losses. So the tax-free coins, this is 
something that you've been holding for more than a year and then you sell out of it apparently there's no uh, capital gains tax on it but you'll have to consult with your local tax laws for this I think this is mostly for the United States and I'm not sure that it applies to Canada so finally the last report here that I'll go through is the trading fees report and this is great because most of my trading I go in and out of it and I, I don't really pay attention to the fees that I'm paying and so to have done $300,000 in volume of trading this month, I probably paid quite a bit in fees and I really have not added it up. So this is something I should be paying attention to because those are things that are uh, important in their taxes as you go along. So if you've got any questions about this, one of the things that I really like about this service is that you get the automatic API imports from all of these different cryptocurrency exchanges. So I am set up on BitAnts AM, and you can see the key here. And this specific one does not automatically import your stuff for this exchange. You have to uh, check it uh, manually. So it only, because of the way the permissions on it work. So you can also set up Poloniex, you can set up Kraken, you can set up Cryptopia, Coinbase, Bitrex, Bitstamp, Bitfinex, all of these all work and can be imported. So then you can be checking everything. Uh, the charts and trends are really interesting in here as well. They list 4,700 digital currencies. So whatever's out there, you can be tracking it with this service. It's pretty amazing. One of the things that I like about it is if we are to go to, let's see, sort by something I know, AMP, with all of these millions of coins, it certainly gets difficult. So we go to the chart for AMP, and you can see the US dollar, um, the Canadian dollar value and the Bitcoin value, which is pretty fantastic because you can see that the Bitcoin value has gone down recently, but the Canadian dollar value hasn't gone down as much. I think that that's going to uh, repair itself and go the other way as well. One of the great things about this is that you can show your trades on your chart. So this shows where I'm buying with the green and where I'm selling with the red. Where I'm buying, where I'm selling, where I'm buying, where I'm buying. And now you can uh, zoom in on this as well so you can go into a different time frame and get more detail about your buys and sells and really see it graphically how well you're doing. Really fantastic service. So if you've got any questions about cointracking.co, uh, let me know below this video and I'd be happy to do more detail on this. That's it for this little live presentation. Thanks for tuning in and good luck in all of your digital currency trading.